Hi, we're at Tertium Robotics, Team 355A. My name is Sarah. And I'm Steven, and today we're going to be showing you guys four different mechanisms to intake match loads in VEX pushback season. So the first mechanism we're going to talk about is a tongue mech. I've seen two pretty common variations of this mechanism, the first one being standoffs and low strength spacers. Uh, the simple uh, theory behind this is this pushes the ball up a little bit and then they ramp down this and it kind of works like just like that right and then the other version uses a piece of polycarb and the uh, now obviously they roll out if this bar wasn't here but it uses this piece of polycarb which hinges and it uses that on this back curve of the match load station so it can ramp up and let the balls fall out. Now both of these also work very well when it comes to dropping a ball on there and having it roll out. Uh, these are both gonna be mounted on an arm and actuated with a piston down, just like this. It's a very common way. Uh, I think it's gonna be one of the only ways truly to mount that well. And I think this could be a very efficient and very simple way to quickly introduce match loads into the game. So the second uh, mechanism I wanna talk about is a change up style intake. So this relies on two wheels that would be powered, right? Except this is just a prototype, right? And these wheels are gonna spin and it's gonna pull the ball in, pull the ball in, and just keep going, right? Um, the, one of the main issues with these I see is usually this will end up being not only for your match loads, but it'll also be for your normal intake, which has problems, whereas if this is spinning, you can bounce the ball out this way or something. Um, that's just something to th think about when going with the side intake. But there have been some very efficient, very quick uh, match loading focused side intakes that could be very good depending on what you choose to go with as your strategy and style of play. The third type of uh, mechanism I want to talk about is a counter roller. A counter roller uses some sort of bar with rubber bands or mesh or uh, omniwheel rollers on it. And what it basically does is it'll just spin a bar with something grippy on it, right? The opposite way. Now this is obviously just a crude, crude model. That's going very slow. But as you can see, even with a 200 RPM motor that's spinning at you know 100 RPM there, it was able to outtake those six balls pretty quickly and efficiently. Now the downside of this is what you're actually gonna need is you're not gonna be able to have a motor here, otherwise it's gonna break. You'll likely have to have a sprocket with chain. And the chain being out forward is very likely to break. Now this in combination with a rubber band roller it's a very efficient way to intake the balls in uh, not only for ma match loads, but also in gameplay. So if you can design you know, a nice shield or something around that ch uh, chain or make sure you have two chains so it doesn't break and make it very reliable, then I think this would be one of the most efficient ways to intake the match loads this season. The final mechanism I want to talk about is a sprocket, right, with rubber bands through it, but it has no axle in between it. So it can go further up into your match load stations and bring the balls out. Now this is just a rough model and the bands I'd recommend using the thicker ones instead of the thin ones, but this has a lot of potential as it's very good for match loads if you tune it properly and it also has a lot of potential as a uh, match or as a mechanism that will work in match play to intake the blocks very well, right? Obviously the sprocket uh, ratio is not ideal, but I think you can kind of get the basic concept that it goes in there and it pulls them out. Personally, I don't love this design as these need to be braced very well and the chain back to here can cause a lot of problems. Uh, if it breaks, you know, then you can't even intake uh, game elements during the match, let alone match loading. So this is something I could see being very useful, but it would definitely need a lot of tuning and a lot of refinement to get it so where it can not only do match loads well and uh, game elements in the field well, but also not breaking and you know, falling apart when you hit another robot. So that's all we had to share with you guys today. If you have any other better ways to intake the match loads, go ahead and share them in the comments and let us know what you're gonna do this season. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can see our future videos and good luck this season.